What's going on, everybody? C3 here. And we're ready to start this vlog. So I wanted to <clears throat> go ahead and do my review on my bike. Um, I have a 2013 Kawasaki Ninja DXXR for those of you that <clears throat> you don't know. And... I'll start off with the pros and then end with the cons, as usual. Alright. So, the first big thing about this bike is it's very user friendly. What I mean by that is it's, it, you can customize it to your own liking, the, the performance aspect of it. Um, so, alright, come on, people. Go, 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 go. That guy looks like Freddy Cougar. There you go, good job. Alright. <clears throat> so, what I mean by that is, and I don't know if you can notice here on the left uh, left side of the handlebars, you see this uh, these buttons right here. This is a power, one says power, one says KTRC. The power one obviously could let you control your power, so you could either put it to full power or you could put it to low power, depending on, you know, your situation. For example, if it's raining, you 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 might want to put it to low power so you will so you so you don't have a lot of power going in the back wheel and you don't want to slip out. Um, I think I was supposed to turn there, but I guess I won't now. So there's that, and there's also the other button is the KTRC. That's the Kawasaki Tire Traction Control, and it really helped me in a lot of uh, situations. Um, one time I was pulling out of a gas station and I was trying to hurry up because there was a car coming but it was it was it wasn't raining, it was just a wet wet road from the rain. And I felt my bike jerk and obviously I you know, my I lost control in the rear tire. And but the you know, the traction control slipped in or kicked in and you know, it helped prevented me from sliding even more. So um, that was a really cool thing that I, uh, I mean, that's, uh, it's a safety feature, yes. And it's not like ABS to where it just breaks you. It actually controls the engine. You can hear the engine being, like, muffled down be so that way, you, you know, the rear wheel doesn't slip. So, that's one of the good things. I was already on sixth six gear. And so, <clears throat> another great feature about this bike is the ergonomics. It is so comfortable and I can be in a racing stance, I could be in a, just a uh, cruising stance, no matter what my stance is, it's comfortable. It's comfortable, you know. Um, obviously, you know, if you want that real comfortable factor, you get a Goldwing, but, you know, as far as sport bikes go, this is a real comfortable bike. Um, uh, uh, a lot of people complain about the seats. I don't mind the seats because really you're not even supposed to be putting your whole entire weight on your butt or putting your whole entire weight on your on your wrist. You know, you're really supposed to balance out um, that weight ratio between your your butt, your thighs, and your wrist. You know, it's not supposed to be all on one thing. So, you know, a lot of people who ride and they say their butt hurts, their wrists hurt. Maybe you're just, maybe you don't need to blame the bike, maybe you just need to blame yourself. So, that's uh, that's one uh, good thing that I love about this bike. Because I used to ride in, Mel or I used to work in Melbourne, and I would ride, you know, an hour and a half just to get there, and then an hour and a half back. And my butt wouldn't even start hurting until maybe like the hour 20 mark. Like, it's wonderful. Um, so... That's one thing that I, I absolutely love about this bike. Another thing I love, and a lot of people hate, not a lot of uh, people hate, it's just think it's annoying, is the extra CCs. This is a 636, not a 600, not a 599, straight up 66. A lot of people, you know, call this a cheater bike. Yeah, it is, but, you know, hey, Ducati's a cheater bike. They, they don't max out 999 CCs. You know, they keep going to like 11.29 and stuff like that. Or, I'm sorry, um, 11.89 or 11.98. Man, dyslexic here. Um, 
Uh oh, there's a popo up there, but not do anything stupid. But <clears throat> those actually, those extra CCs really kick up the performance level a whole level. You know, I definitely notice it when I, compared to when I'm riding other people's bikes, I definitely notice that my bike has a lot more power to it and has a lot more to go. You know, uh, for example, the speed doesn't really count because I'm kind of a big guy. Um, but the max I've ever topped out, or I mean, the most I hit, I, not, I haven't maxed out yet. Get this right, I haven't maxed out. I could kill, I could still keep going, but the most that I've done on this bike is 145. That was my max. That was the, uh, the as much as I could do during in that situation. So that being said, I still had a lot more to go, and my buddy's, you know, motorcycle, his, my buddy's i six. Um, I think his topped out at like 154, and I'm pretty sure mine can go way more than that. <clears throat> so, you know, those extra CCs help not only the speed factor, but the performance factor. It boosts up the power a little bit, gives you a little more low end power. Uh, I'm sorry, not low and high end power. <laughs> Our ones have low end power. Those things are crazy. But yeah, so. That's that's one really good thing that I love about this bike. <clears throat> All right, so as far as that goes, um, I, I I started out with the 300, so this isn't my first bike. But if I were to recommend somebody getting their first bike, uh, and and they don't want to wait and they don't want to start off small, I would tell them to go ahead and get this bike. This bike is very user friendly. It's very forgiving. And, you know, it's a lot of fun to ride. I absolutely love this bike. Uh, so, that's that. That's my opinion, you know, on the positives. Now, l l let's go on to the negatives, the cons, shall we? <sighs> oh, gosh. One thing that I really don't like about this bike is just the, handle uh, is the handlebars. The handlebars, I think, are a little too wide. They're, they're, they're pretty big compared to a lot of bikes. I've sat on um, R6s, Jixxers, uh, I've sat on Ducatis. All of, their <coughs> all of their bikes, or all the handlebars are like... So, let's say these are, these are where my handlebars are. Theirs are like right there. You know, and it, it feels comfortable. You, you have, I, to me... For me, it feels like you have more control over the bike, you know? You're not, like, spread out like that, but then again, you're not like this. You have, you know, that control. So I just think that Kawasaki just made their handlebars way too big, like, way too wide. You know, and it's quite frankly, sometimes get annoying, but what can you do? Now, another thing I don't like about this bike is the placement of the oil filter. <clears throat> I don't know a lot of bikes that do this. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just missing the fact that it's there, but a lot of bikes are, a lot of bikes, their oil filters are right behind, right in front of the, um, or I should say like right above the uh, um, the exhaust uh, what is it called you know what I'm talking about the exhaust right behind the, the exhaust lines right behind the man I'm just losing my vocabulary today but anyway so those uh, uh, the oil filters are usually right behind the front wheel that's where it's usually at that's where I've seen most of it at however this bike's oil filter is on the side it's on right <coughs> by, by where my cap is it's in there and it is so darn annoying doing oil changes on this bike because oil just gets everywhere like before you could just unscrew and put a little pan underneath it and you know let all the oil from the filter drain there no you have to like I mean I don't even know what you have to do like it's just it gets so messy a lot of times um, what I would do is I would, uh, I don't want to take a chance, I'll just go ahead and go for it, but, uh, 
Um, yeah, I don't even know what you have to do to to keep it clean. Because what I would have to do is normally I would have to resort to <clears throat> doing uh, after doing the oil change quickly run to the um, the car wash near my house and pressure wash the whole side of the bike because it's so it's covered in oil like it gets through all the traps and stuff so that's just one thing that I really don't like about this bike I would have to say I would complain about that the most you know um that's just me but as far as that goes I mean those little things <clears throat> But, oh, the oil is filled, so I can't do anything about. Um, just the, the handlebars, I can't do anything about. But the 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 tilting, I can do. But, I mean, overall, I would give this bike, you know, props. Because it's very user-friendly. It's fun to ride. It's comfortable. And, oh, I forgot to mention that gas is really good. Gas is really good on this bike. I got 180 miles out of a tank one time going to Melbourne and back. Non stop. So uh it was I mean I think that it was a good decision for me. Um if something ever happens to this bike, I probably won't get it again just due to the fact that I wanna try different bikes. So but yeah. I think that this I I seriously think that this is like a really good bike to be a beginner off of and to learn from. So um that's just my opinion. Am I able? Am I gonna be able to get in? I'm just gonna squeeze through here real quick. That's my review. Be sure to uh, have any. If you have any comments or anything, let me know down in the comments below. And um, for now, C3 out. I'll see you next time.